Welcome back to the Oasis Podcast. Thank you again for joining us on today's episode. I have here with me. It's me. Y'all should know my voice by now, right? For those of you who don't know. It's Vision. Vision. We should just change the name of the podcast to AJ's Oasis Podcast featuring Vision. Nah. No. No. And so, Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, man. Happy New Year. So, it is a new year. Not quite a new decade, even though people have been saying that. Oh, well, what? New decade next year? 2021 starts the new decade, technically. Really? I guess because year number one counts as year number one? Correct. Right. Uh Um, But anyway, whatever. We're going to rock with it. If you say it's a new decade, it's a new decade, whatever, do you? We're going to rock with it. Um, But it's definitely going to be a new era. Ooh. So that's nice. Um, And so today, you know what? We're going to... We're going to talk about what people typically talk about Facts. after the new year, right? Oh, Lord. Who going to the gym? Accomplish. Who quitting smoking? What you looking forward to? But most importantly, which is my favorite part, things we're going to leave behind, Oof. right? And so, before we do all of that, how you been, Vision? Yeah, I'm Gucci. Um, I feel like I'm always cold. always have a cold during the winter. Ugh. Stay so, away. Yeah, I got a funky little call, <laughs> so we might need to ice all up these microphones when we're done. Yeah. But, you know, other than that, I'm good. You know how it is, making money. Trying to, at least. Did you take any vacations? Any breaks? I mean... Like, what's up? What did you do? I was supposed to take a vacation, but I went to work by accident. What? Yeah, I looked at it. <laughs> when I looked at my timesheet, I was like, oh, wait, this was a, a, a... Like, I had put in for that day. I forgot that I did. <laughs> and I went to work those two days. Oh, hell no. And then when I looked at my timesheet, my, my boss changed the dates. And I was like, oh, snap, bro. I, I was supposed to stay home. My girlfriend probably going to kick my behind when she hears this podcast. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't went to work. But um, I had a couple days off, you know, like Christmas break. Saw my godchildren. Hooked them up, hooked them up. Kitties. Yeah. Uh, my best friend announced that he's having a baby. Oh, congrats. Mm-hmm. That was dope. That was dope. <laughs> Uh, my girlfriend hooked me up for Christmas. My brother's about to have a baby next week. So, okay, you know, look at that. New life, yeah, new, new life. life everywhere, you know. New decade, new year, new week, new day, new life. Okay. I what mean, a way to you, start the new year, right? You jumped right in, right? Oh, uh, but a segue. Before <laughs> we hit up all how the holidays went, I wanted to let the listeners know, though I claim to be on break, I'm still recording stuff for (laughs) y'all um so definitely we'll be recording but i want you all to know what to look forward to so we're planning i'm planning on bringing new topics right hopefully we can get some new guests on to get new perspectives but of course we're gonna have our favorites like vision miss key we changing the name and 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 others who have (laughs) graced you know the podcast so definitely look forward to that um, and those of you who haven't listened to all the podcast episodes, you have about 17 episodes to catch up on, right? So go ahead, take your time, listen to them, comment, rate us, um, like us, um, do all that good stuff, share. But check this: the if podcast. you leave a bad rating, tell us why though. If yeah, you leave definitely. A, uh, if you didn't like an episode for whatever reason, it was too loud, facts. it was too much tell noise. If we didn't vibe, whatever, like let us know because that's how you grow. So we look forward to that. And definitely some want some listener questions, comments. Uh, if you want some advice from us, I don't know why. But if you did, <laughs> right, you want a perspective, just hit us up. Give us your situation. Let us know what's going on and see if we can help somehow. For sure. But Vision, since you jumped into the holidays, overall, how was your holiday? This is the most Christmassy <laughs> holiday that, se- season that I felt in a very long yeah? time. Yeah. Why is that? Um, it was just I got so many kids gifts. Uh, um, mm-hmm. you know I got something really simple for my girlfriend's nephews, um, which was dope. Uh, my godchildren, you know, they both got sneakers and outfits, and and the youngest one, he was just like he didn't care about his toys after he got his outfits. <laughs> He's just walking around with his new sweatsuit. He and his already too hand. fly. Look at him He's, caring about clothes. Facts. Both of them are, but the, the, my oldest godchild, he's a little bit more into toys and cars and stuff like that. But he's gonna catch up because his mama, both their mamas are into sneakers and both mm. their daddies into sneakers and dress and all that. Oh, my godchildren family, they 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 into fashion. At least the girls are. Uh huh. Um, so that was dope. 
um, got something from my mom, um, me and my girlfriend, I guess, got something for her mom, well, me and my girlfriend, I guess, got something for her. It's a long story. Anywho, our parents got some stuff. It just a lot, a lot of gifts. Okay. A lot of gifts. So that you felt that helped with the yeah, yeah, yeah. feeling? And exactly. And then a week before that was, maybe a week and a half before that was my brother's baby shower. Mm. So there was gifts for a that. A celebration. Yeah, uh-huh. there was a lot of celebrating this, this holiday season. So it felt really Christmassy. Okay. That's what about good. yours? My holiday. How was my Christmas? Christmas. What you get for Christmas? I got a whole bunch of stuff. Like? Stuff. Damn. Um, <laughs> it's not about the gifts. It's not about the I gifts. I know, but whoever whoever got uh, uh, AJ's got man, things. you need to step it up. Oh, whatever. Um, my boyfriend got me some things, um, which I, I felt he did a good job. He did a good job because I didn't give him any clues of what I wanted because I didn't really want anything. So mm. like, he did a good job by like paying attention to stuff. Um, how was the holiday overall? Oh. I, honestly, it wasn't as festive as it typically is for me. Mm-hmm. I usually, like I, I mentioned before, I had my nephews to come over and stuff. And they came over, but they were sick. And mm. we weren't really, like, we did a, well, we celebrated Kwanzaa. Like, we went to a Kwanzaa celebration, which was pretty cool. It was the first time they've been to a Kwanzaa celebration. And I want to continue that with them. But they were just, they were, after the Kwanzaa celebration, they were off. So, the day, kind of blah. Mm. I didn't watch the Grinch at all. You didn't watch The Grinch. I did not watch The Grinch, which is not cool, but it's all right. Because That's your Christmas movie? That is my movie. Okay. <laughs> no, we watched the new version. We didn't watch the old version. The old version is what I like. Which, the cartoon? No, the, the Jim, Jim Carrey Car- version. The Jim Carrey. Okay. We watched the cartoon version that dropped last year. So, okay. So, I get. I, I did watch The Grinch. So, it's mm. fine. Um, but, in general, we usually do a lot more festive stuff. The kids were just sick and stuff. So, it just didn't really work out. Which is... It was fine. I was a lot sadder though than i anticipated being and um but but spending time though with like my boyfriend's family and stuff like that kind of helped with that feeling which was nice it was nice it, it, it i was sadder but it was still nice i didn't spend as time with my family which didn't make me as sad as i thought it would be <laughs> Which was okay, you know, just dropped off gifts, spent some time with some of my nephews, saw everyone else, and was just like, so I'm out. And, uh... It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it was cool. However, New Year's was nice. I enjoy New Year's with my family. New Year's. So, for those of y'all who don't know, I'm Haitian, so y'all already know, you know what that is. New Year's is also our Independence Day. Yeah. Oh, boy. And for our Independence Day celebration, we drink soup. Soup, right? I Pumpkin soup. soup, soup jumu, and you don't drink just regular old soup and no regular old pot. Okay, so it's a that? cauldron. <laughs> if, if that's the just like good. a bunch of ramen. Oh no, no, honey. Okay, <laughs> it is pumpkin it's cabbage it's some uh, this varies um mm-hmm. for depending but there's some type of like noodle or pasta in there there's meat usually it could be oxtail it can be some type or just some type of beef it could be pork it could be a mixture of both all it could be seafood it could be turkey like it's just depends mm-hmm. on how you how your pockets are looking and kind of what your your, your tastes are but my mom makes a cauldron. Like, she downgraded from last year where she made two cauldrons. <laughs> Wait, how big is a cauldron? What are you talking Bruh, about? Bruh, it's a huge pot of soup. Like, a huge, huge, huge pot. And she literally makes enough to feed everybody and their mama, literally. So, how long it lasts? So, technically, this going to sound crazy to some of y'all. Technically, you drink the soup for like a week. Uh, uh, the same soup? <laughs> the same soup. Lord, you've made enough soup for a week? For a breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Oh like, my. you drink it. Mm. Um, I don't do that. But <laughs> but it is a thing. And my mama definitely is still drinking that soup. I, I drink it for like two, three days. So, and then I can't. I can't do leftovers. I need you to hit up Mama AJ, see if we, she could get some of that soup you move for me. Let now me, you want to tell me? That. You should have you told me on the first. That's You should get it when it's fresh. Over AJ, so you can make me some fresh soup you move. I don't know how to make soup you move. Lord. But I'm going to learn. I'll, as I've been learning to do some other, making some other Haitian uh cuisines and drinks and mm-hmm. such but i can learn i'm gonna learn because my mother already like yo I'm, I'm giving up i'm retiring one of y'all gotta kind of gotta pick it up so i'm just like i right, you know what maybe next year 
I'll try to figure it out, hook it up. Uh, but anyway, so New Year's was nice. I actually, I don't know. I I was anticipating New Year's to be much like Christmas, where I was just like, you know, I ain't fit to deal with nobody. I don't want to get sick, <laughs> so I'm gonna stay away from people and like just kind of be just just be in and out. But New Year's was nice. Like people were actually pleasant and. It was good conversation. Mm, okay. For the most part. I think 98% of the time. The most part? <laughs> oh, Lord. And then, yeah. Oh, and Lord. then, yeah. And then a member of my family got typical. And then I was like, yeah, so I'm going to head out. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but then it was, I, it was, it was good. And I took my ass home. And, uh, oh, I didn't even stay up really. To, I didn't do nothing New Year's Eve into New Year's. I was tired cleaning Mm-hmm. I was a typical old person at this point. I I didn't care though. I'm never one of those people who go out to celebrate because one is too expensive. Two, it, like it's usually cold. This year wasn't a cold cold, but I don't like being around all them people. I don't know, like yeah, my to old me, lady it's not is a vibe same. for me. I, I just you. not with it. I'd rather be in the confines of my house, working on my goals for the year, just comfortable sipping on whatever I want to sip on. That's you know. Of my liking and not overpriced and <laughs> <laughs> nice and comfortable. I ain't in no heels, no tight fitting dress, nothing. Like I'm just chilling. I respect so, that. I respect that. That that was that was my holiday. Like it wasn't. I can't complain about it. But typically, it takes me the honestly like a month to kind of get in the groove of a new year mm-hmm. to even register as a new year. And that's kind of been a little. It's been a while for me. In that mindset, which I noticed, because like a few years back, it's always like try to rev up. All right, the first you gotta start doing your goals and stuff. Nah, these past few years I've been like, look, I'm gonna give myself some time to ease into this. I'm gonna start in February. <laughs> mm-hmm. February, hopefully, you know. Um, but definitely, when I do start, I'm gonna go hard on doing the things I want to do. Okay. okay. I, I don't feel like my New Year starts until I celebrate the anniversary of my grandma's death. So. I got another few days, and then I'll, like, be yeah, mentally in a better space. Yeah. I feel you. I get to, it. To, like, get things going and started. That makes sense. How like, was your New Year's? Oh, uh, similar to yours, did the family thing. Um, I would keep it a buck. Like, I was out early. I think I woke up maybe about, like, 11.58, waited until <laughs> 12 o'clock. Woke up my girlfriend said Happy New Year, kissed her, went right back to sleep. <laughs> um, it was, you know, what I mean? I'm not really a New Yeary person, and I'm grateful my partner isn't, cause I, I don't even really celebrate. Like, like, yeah, you know, I'm not a go out party person, do all that. Right, well, I'm too old for all that now. <laughs> um, in hindsight, I wouldn't mind like a day after party. Mm. Oh, like, like. My they gr- have those morning parties. Yeah, you my could've... girlfriend was telling me her homegirl was sending her pictures, and I was like, "What? That's a thing." <laughs> well, dang, you know, that's a whole thing. Get twerked yeah. on early in the morning. Early in the morning, and parties start like well, what eight or something like that. Seven, eight. There. I don't know, some weird hour in the morning, and people out at partying. I'm like, okay, y'all go ahead. Yeah, I might have been into <laughs> that. I might have did that. That seems like a little bit more low key, I oh, guess. Okay. Well, maybe next year. Maybe I don't get know. Get into that. I don't know. I'm then, not, you better buy them tickets early. Yeah, but that's not really my speed, anyways. <laughs> I was just like, maybe I'd do that. It'd be okay. nice to dress up and do that. I, I suppose guess. my girlfriend got me these new boots for Christmas. I wore them joints once, but I've been I kept them in the box and like <laughs> you buffing. Want those? Yeah, because no. <laughs> the boots is hard. Those are some hard boots. They, <laughs> they look good. They look good. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I, this is like those aren't the type of shoes you just like. They ain't the type of boots you just throw on. Like those are the boots that's like. You, you gotta try, flex in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta stunt it. You know what I mean? You gotta stunt with your skinny jeans tucked in kind of shit, you know? Um, but, yeah, um, you know, maybe next year I'll, I'll whip out the boots for that. You know, something that's one of those kind of things, yeah. Mm, okay. Not just that's for, but, you know, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. New Year's is really not my thing. I'm like you. Uh, I, I normally get a little bit more in my bag. Mm. Um, closer. More so in January than anything. Like, you know, like I deal with my whole depression stuff. Da, 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 da. Christmas or time, uh, Thanksgiving's a little rough. But this is when it really starts to hone in and get rougher. Why? 
uh, just just just, cl- just the, the dates, the time. Closer to my father's death, mm. um, my own boy Bobby's death was the same day as my father's, just years apart. Mm. Um, just that, um, is that, and you know, January in New York. If you guys know the North, you know, January is, is, is the colder time. Yeah. It's the coldest month. It's dreary. It's yeah. Dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and in January also, you just had all the lights and the Christmas trees yeah, from Christmas. Yeah, and everything is gone. Not, exactly. Everything is gone. <laughs> That's true. So it's just dark winter. No, it's true. <clears throat> it's just, boom, gone. That's yep. it. Yep, <laughs> and it comes back a little bit for Valentine's Day, but then it's gone oh, again. That's you know, true. So. I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, and you, and, you, and you know New York, February is normally when it starts to warm up a little bit. Mm. You still get snow in March, you want know, whatever the case is, but January is probably like the blahs month outside of like August. <laughs> like January is just so blah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. I didn't think about it like that. So I wanted to take this episode to do some reflecting. Yay. Reflection. Stop, stop backing up. Y'all don't know, AJ. Stop always trying up. to make me think about something. Uh, I swear you got a brain. <laughs> so, I found this on one of my Instagram pages that I follow. One of them? How many Instagrams you got? Anyway. <laughs> and I wanted to... I thought these were really great questions. So, I wanted to use them for discussion. Kind of pick your brain. See what's going on. Okay, okay. So, it's entitled, Nine Questions to Ponder Before You Wrap Up the Decade. And the first question is, and of course, if there's anything that you don't want to answer or I'll plead the fifth you're not comfortable those. answering, or yeah. you just don't have an answer to, it's cool. Yeah, I, I'll plead the fifth on whatever one. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so, the first one being, in what ways, big or small, big and small rather, have I grown? So, a question to you. Oh, Lord. In what ways, big or and small have you grown i've learned to attempt to find a positive outlook in in everything Mm. um and to try to wake up more positive um for those that know me in the morning um you know i'm a big hip-hop head but i've changed the tune in the morning of the things i'm listening to if it's not starting off with a podcast it's normally a little bit more happier music um, so just trying to apply uh, some sort of, of positive outlook to start the day. Now, if, the, if I start off positive and the day dies out and becomes bad, then it was what it was. But at least I tried. Mm. Um, That's important. I start your day. Yeah. Or else I think I've grown. I think I've grown to become a little bit more, I don't want to say understanding, but... But, because, uh, yeah, it's tough. Like, I I think I'm a fairly understanding person. Um, I think one of the things with understanding is that, that sometimes we understand and we don't give, a, give enough acknowledgement to our understanding. So just letting people know, like, you know, I think I, I've learned to, like, I hear you. Mm. Even if I disagree, it's like, I hear you. It makes sense. Here's my take. And it's important to do that because it, it gets rid of the selfish stigma. And I, I realize that I have a lot of people, not a lot of people, but there's people in my life who cared a lot who may have thought, like, sometimes I'm a little selfish. Um, so just working on that. Um, I think I've learned to love differently, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, in what way? I have a type. Um, I have two types. And my girlfriend is one of my types. Mm-hmm. But she's not the type, if that makes sense. No, um, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> like she fits the mold. Like she's into a lot of the things I'm into. So one of the types is like I like a really earthy black woman, mm-hmm. but she's not that earthy. <laughs> but she's very earthy, and I don't know how to, the best way to say that. Anywho, so um, you know, I, I never really dated someone like that. I just physically, you know, aesthetically, it just looked appealing. You know, from movies, TV. From the people you see in the community, um, so this is my attempt to love her, and um, I've learned a lot about myself through that, um, and I learned how to love myself in this through that too. That's so, important. Um, That's and th- 
That's so cute. through that, yeah, you know, I can't apply the same methods that I used to love the pe- people before. Hmm. Um, so uh, it was important to me to learn how to love, and to learn how to love is to love how to love a person the way they need to be loved, hmm. and also knowing how to love yourself while you're doing that. Uh, so I say I've I've grown with that, you know. Okay, those are big. All right. What about uh, yourself? Clearly, I have not thought about these questions before I asked them. Um, <laughs> mm, we need a break. In what ways, big and small, have I grown? I'm. Your I head grew. Find it my what? Your head. Shut up. <laughs> I, I always. Oh no. I always find it so hard to kind of think about questions in that way, like think about things I've actually accomplished or done or whatever. Um. In what ways have I, big or small, have I grown? Okay. Ugh. I've learned I think in okay so let's first things first because the beginning of the year really is when my the changes in my in my life I guess started and it's when I met my partner so I would say from that interaction till then till now I've learned that I've learned that it is essential to be fully yourself mm-hmm. and the right person won't run from that. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a big thing for me, honestly. Um, it's a huge thing for me, to be honest. There's that. I've learned that. AJ being her authentic no. self. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've learned that no matter... How much you think you've grown as a single person, you ain't learned yet until you got into a relationship. Because, mm. <laughs> law child. And, okay, Preach. all right. That's time for another conversation, I guess. <laughs> but, um, and so you definitely need to put in that more effort and work. Like, you ain't fixed. You ain't there yet until you actually learn to apply it to real life situations that are happening and unfolding. What else have I learned? I've learned... Big and small. What kind of ratchet things you learned? Ratchet? Yeah, you know. I did not have a ratchet year at you all. You didn't have a ratchet Last year, year though, hit, well, 2018. There was no ratchet in this year? Uh, no. 2019 was calm. I'm trying to make 2020 ratchet, though. I ain't going to hold you. Ratchet? What ratchet. kind of ratchet? Just, I'm going to be out here in these streets. The streets? Streets. Ooh, <laughs> Nah, definitely trying to be more social and stuff, but we'll talk about that later. Um, Big and small, big and small, like. I'm trying to think of new things I've learned by myself. I don't know if I learned exceptionally new things outside of the two things that I mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. Those are still very big things. Um, yeah. And, all right, so next question is, what limiting beliefs do I need to release? I can answer. I'll start with that one. Mm-hmm. What limiting beliefs do I need to release? I need to let go of the notion and thought that I haven't, accomplished anything like i haven't started living life yet Mm -hmm. even though i'm x amount of years deep 30 something years in deep and i do accomplish things from in my mind like i don't feel they're big enough i don't feel like they're much of and it's not in me in comparison to anybody it's just i don't know for me myself just taking a look back i i I feel like oh you didn't really do that much Mm -hmm. when in essence, it is. It's 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 substantial. That, that's a real one. So I need to to learn to let that go. Stop like thinking that I haven't one. accomplished anything when I've done a lot. That's a real one. How about you? I'd say two. I think I got, for sure I got two. The first one is the same one as yours. Um, it's one of the things I had to learn through therapy. Um, it was like Derek, you did a lot. Um, for somebody without their college degree, to have lived. It went through every one of their dream jobs, but one without a college degree and at 32 years of age, it's a big deal. Um, I managed community centers. Um, I, I, I did community organizing, justice, uh, justice reform. I've done so much that I wanted to do. Um, so I, I needed to learn to give myself more credit from that. You are very mm-hmm. accomplished. Even if it doesn't show much in your bank account, <laughs> um, the talking point enough makes you rich. Um, yeah, 
things. I had meetings with the mayor of New York, the governor of New York, and I, I, I did all of that before I was 21. Oh, wow. Um, so, like, yeah, uh, just to, to pat myself on the back more and be like, Derek, you're accomplished. Um, and the second one is that to stop telling myself I can't. Um, yeah, uh, I, like I said, I don't have my college degree. I'm in school for it now. Um, but through therapy and my, definitely my girlfriend too, she just a lot of times she like, I complain about my current job. You sound issue. Like, like you got a good girl. I need to meet sis. You need to stop playing. Uh, Bring sis around. This heifer's annoying. What? Lord. Huh? And you know she could. Oh, so you, you call her a heifer? Mm. <laughs> good luck, bro. Good luck. <laughs> good luck with your ass. Listen, I can't say the b word. <laughs> word? Nah, I, I love my girlfriend. I love, I love her like that. <laughs> She'll understand the joke when, when she hears if she hears it. Anywho, um, you know, just like yo, like, you know, like you can, you can, you can stop putting yourself in a box that you can't do things. Um, and if you can't get it, that's fine. At least you know you tried it. Yeah. Um, put yourself in the put your hat in the race, anyways. Um, and it's okay to put your hat in the race as an underdog because you, you, you never know. You might get that call and it's, it's your shot. So yeah, um to stop telling myself I can't do stuff and to stop uh, ignoring the accomplishments I've made in life. Mm, that's big. That was a good. So, number three. What stressed me out the most and what can I do to reduce my stress in that area? I'm going to I'm I'm going to go first in this one. Oh, go ahead. Buying a damn house that's or attempting to was stressful as a motherfucker. But you know, I, I heard that podcast, though. You sound like you was doing the damn thing on that podcast. Episode. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Y'all, listen. Well, I seen a meme recently, and it's like, just because I carry it well don't mean that shit ain't heavy. Mm-hmm. Child, listen. Okay? I like... And that's, and that's something that I have to also... I'm learning as I get older to um, be better at is expressing when things are stressing me out stressing when i need help and stuff because it's true people look at you like oh girl you got this you straight and you inside i'm dying i'm dying okay Mm. (laughs) Okay? and that buying a home has been because i ain't buying yet so it's been stressful (laughs) it's been super stressful i'll be your friend um so many ups and downs not that it's not okay so we're gonna just we care this is what we do okay. I was just letting you know you can lean on me <laughs> bro <laughs> <laughs> and how, what can I do to reduce the stress in the area I'm still gonna keep going until I find my house mm-hmm. however I am also going to make sure I live life and I feel like last year in this process I feel like I was just super focused on like buying a house buying a house and you know those of who have been in the process or heard the last episode like you have to be really really strict with yourself when doing that i don't know if i'm gonna be as strict <laughs> like i need to live my life like mm-hmm. i want to travel i want to go out i want to spend money <laughs> and of course not recklessly but i want to have a good time and i felt last year I really limited myself, maybe a little more than I needed to, but also I was in that headspace. So this year I'm trying to go in like, nah, I'm trying to be social. I'm trying to be out here. Gotta live, I'm trying to have fun. Yes. I'm trying to take my trips more. I mean, I took trips last year, but those who know me know I'd be ODN and I didn't get to OD last year. And so I want to live concerts, all that other good stuff. Like I need to do that. And I'm going to balance that out. I'm going to be fiscally responsible until I buy this house and then I'm gonna ball out now. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try to do a good balance of the two. So yeah, that was what stressed me out. So what about you? What stressed you out the most and what could you do to reduce the stress oh, in Lord. that area? Work. Mm. Work, work, yeah. work, work, work. Um <laughs> I work in a non profit. So that's for those of you who already know, once you hear that word non profit Mm-hmm. That's a trigger word for a lot of us. <laughs> you know, that means you ain't getting paid. Or you're mm-hmm. getting paid and you ain't getting value. And I, mm-hmm. For me, it's both. Um, so, yeah, just uh, working with the demographic that I work with is a tough demographic. And it's just a lot to deal with. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when you actually value what you do and you put in your all in into the job and... You know, it's draining. 
it's really really draining yeah um yeah and i guess to reduce it you know the other day i was having a conversation and um it was like you just you can't invest so much into work because it's gonna become hard to invest in yourself um, facts well you gotta invest in yourself first i already know how i feel about that yeah so <laughs> you know um so that's one of the things i i'm attempting to do like i have assignments that i have to do and i'm like Nah, I'm gonna wait till like the second to last day <laughs> to do. <them. laughs> um, and you know it is what it is because um, I I need to value my time away from work, um, which I thought I was have I I was, but you know it takes me an hour and a half to like ground myself after coming home from work, mm. and that's not including the train back to Brooklyn. Um, so yeah, just. Attempting a way to try to ground myself when I get home so that way, that way I can enjoy myself at work. I mean, at home, after work. And also to just invest in myself more. Or enjoy life. So that way the stresses of work don't mean too much. Mm-hmm. I hear that. My little motto for work has been for these past few years, I'm going to work smarter, not harder. Mm. And in working smarter is just being more effective and efficient and like i literally for like a good two years would say that smarter not harder smarter not harder like to keep reminding myself be more effective and more efficient so that way i get what i need to get done it's going to be quality but i'm not busting my ass or killing myself Mm -hmm. like i'm not doing it i refuse (laughs) because we all know you are replaceable okay Mm -hmm. we all are so i hear you i hear you i hear you on that facts so question number four is how will i nurture myself in 20 (laughs) <laughs> that's funny um because i've been thinking about this mm-hmm. um because when i first the year first started i had to be at work the second of Ju- of january and i was gonna start a journal like i already have a journal of writing things but I, I just wrote in it um what am i going to do today to get my goals accomplished and i made a list and i did everything from that list but then the next day i refused to do it Mm. Um, I was like, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so one of the things is 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 understanding like it's okay to have a when you need that time to lounge. And my girlfriend's gonna hate me saying this, <laughs> but if I need the time to lounge, I need that time to lounge. Mm-hmm. You know, so it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna make the effort to hump more this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This sounds funny when you say that. No, no, no. I can't say the F word. <laughs> Why but, not? We grown. No, yeah, no. I don't know. It doesn't sound right. But you know, like I know that sounds so crazy. Like people are like, you know, that's such a sexist thing to say. But but like hear me out though. Like like I I, I think my partner enjoys humping me. <laughs> I enjoy humping her. Um and we just had some conversations and, and not saying that sex is a, a reliever. But, you know, it's something that the two of us enjoy doing with each other. Um, Hopefully, that's good. You know, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> you should. <laughs> yeah, until she starts asking me about having babies. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no. All jokes aside, like, um, spending quality time and not just time with her is one of my things. So, like, I've, I've put, like, more travel with on my goals list. Mm-hmm. More traveling with my girlfriend go out the country once with her um is one um and this is how you're gonna nurture yourself too yeah because it's one of those things that i i get fed by loving on the people Mm. that love me if that makes sense so Mm -hmm. if they didn't love me i wouldn't get that feeling of of fulfillment from loving them that's funny you said that as i was reading that question my mind only went to I want, I want to love up on people that I want to love up on more. And then I looked at it. I was like, no, it said nurture yourself. And I'm like, <clears throat> and that's why I was like, focus on something about you. But then you mm-hmm. just saying that. I was like, you see, my brain went there too, automatically. Yeah. And I, I need to get my feet done. <laughs> so You've been talking about going to the nail salon for the longest. You still ain't find his nail salon? Nah. But I, 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 think, I know you told me like a couple of episodes ago. Yes. You but one around the corner from you. I'm going to check them out. But they're not black. Well, that is true. You know, I'm you know, no disrespect to everybody who are not black, you know, our business owners, but trying you know, to keep the dollar within the community. I, I keep the dollar right hand flat. I fact. hear that. Is that all you want to do to nurture yourself this year? Uh, you keep it a G rated. 
No, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, I need to shop more. Shop? Yeah. You know, like, I, I don't like shopping. Mm. Um, but I like dressing. Mm-hmm. And I'm realizing that more and more, like, I enjoy to dress. Not dress up, but, like, I enjoy, like, feeling good. So one of the things to nurture mm-hmm. myself is I need to find a job that allows me to dress the way I want to dress because I got to dress comfortable just in case I got to put one of these motherfuckers in a chokehold or something <laughs> at my job. And I'm, that's not even a joke. That's dead ass serious. But, like, I find some, a job where I, I feel like I could dress and look handsome. Mm-hmm. Um, I like feeling like I look handsome. Um, so Okay. You know. That's important, though. Yeah. As you... As I've gotten older, being a, a, a exceptional, no, being a t- I'm not exceptionally tall, but being a tall, not slim, tall. whatever, a tall, slim woman, NBA it's tall. hard finding clothes that fit nice. And I, Sex. as I got older, when I was younger, there was this level of comfortability in clothing. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm older, I cherish that so much, finding clothes that are comfortable, that fit. Yeah, and so make you I, look good. yeah, that makes you look good. It makes you, it really does make you feel good. You, you just carry yourself different. You mm-hmm. walk different. It's true. It's, I definitely can understand that. For me, I don't need a job to do that. I don't. I do it on my own. But and when I feel like it, because I got a closet full of stuff and I still don't wear them. So <laughs> if I ain't in the mood, I ain't doing it. And that's yeah, just how I feel. That. For me, comfort overrides everything. So yeah, that's just me. That's just where I'm at. Mm. I'm not one of those girls who can walk around uncomfortable because oh well, I'm cute. Mm-hmm. I want to be cute and comfortable. Oh yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> that's just me. Um, but okay, so how would I nurture myself in twenty twenty? The thing for my year is finding. It says finding. I said finding my joy, but I want to. I guess refine my joy. Mm-hmm. I I initially said refinding my joy, but no, I want to find my joy because I thought about like oh, refining means you had it before, mm-hmm. and I don't know if I've ever really had it. Like I've that's deep. Yeah, I know, right? That. It kind of sounds sad too, but I, what was it? In 2018, like I really got to a sense of peace and happiness, Mm -hmm. right? And, but I feel like happiness and joy, I think a little bit different. Like I'm happy. Like I'm not unhappy. I literally, even if I have a bad day, I'm not unhappy. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Because I also know life has been much worse for me and Mm this bad day is not shit compared to what has ever been right um but joy for me is just that it's like a childlike thing for me if that makes sense Mm -hmm. looking at things with new eyes every day still going to look at a thing a person a place with those new fresh eyes of being Mm -hmm. excited and just if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but that's what i want to do i want to just really find that joy of living, find that joy of life, find that joy in my relationship, find that joy with other relationships that I have, and just look at it as if I'm a child with that naive mm-hmm. view, I think, if that makes sense. Okay. But yeah. That's deep. Yeah. It kind of hit me like an epiphany, too. Like, so. I can't even comment on that, because that's how deep it is. <laughs> it's so deep, make you shut up. <laughs> Not yeah. for you, that's a big You know what, AJ? Deep. Anyway, um, <laughs> what do I need to make room for in 2020? What do you need to make room for? Oh, uh, Food. <laughs> really? Nah, if y'all saw my belly, y'all be like, oh, what are you talking about, Bishop? <laughs> no, um, I need to let room in for people Hmm. um i want to create a strong solid foundation of friends Mm. um yeah Mm. um in particular i would like to add more couples into my friendship Mm. Mm -hmm. but you know if i don't i don't you know i just I, i feel like i need more i would like to have more strong men Mm, mm-hmm. um, around me with men there's this level of, of love and competition that I think not only, men might not enjoy it but men might need it mm. um, we need people to keep us on our A game whether they intend to or don't 
Mm -hmm. um, we need people to hold us and make That's us accountable, true. whether they intend to or not. That's sure. So That's true. I would like that. I like that one, actually. I think I might steal it. Uh, <laughs> what do I need to make room for in 2020? I want need to make room. I need to allow myself to love fully and be loved fully. Mm, elaborate. That's that's you. You with the deep answers today. I'm trying to be vulnerable, y'all. I'm trying to be real. Okay. Um, elaborate. How do I elaborate on that? Um, I have the intent to 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 love fully and be loved fully. However, I mean, like I guess we all do. You know, we kind of fall back on fear mm -hmm. and. Yeah, and, and that's just what it is. You fall back on fear, and so you kind of go, mm. all right, I'm going to do this a little bit. So that means I am still trying, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold off on the rest. Yeah. And that's not fair. That's not, it's not fair. It's not fair. And it's not fair to myself or to my partner. Um, and it's not only about, you know, those type of relationships either, but just... Yeah, for that piece of it, and I get it. Yeah, and then what else? What is the, uh, make room for? I want to make room also to actually receive the things I'm working for, because I feel like I set the goals and I want to accomplish them, but at the same time, I'm fearful of accomplishing them. Mm -hmm. And so I'm still operating from a place of like, yeah, we're gonna do the work for this thing, but you may not get it anyway so don't you know what i mean if that makes yeah. sense it's kind of like yeah kind of defeating myself yeah i learned to en enjoy the rewards that you reaped yeah and i was doing a good job of that this year though i don't know it just kind of i don't know it just yeah i don't know yeah, <laughs> yeah i really don't because I, I was so focused on certain things and so other things went by the wayside but i feel the year prior i was really good at like doing a lot of these things that i feel now i need to revisit so yeah you just gotta remember you deserve it yeah. yeah all right so number six what habits do i want to create break or refresh create break or refresh yep what habits Mm-hmm. one of my goals was to become more organized so just even if it's for the day knowing what the goal is for today mm -hmm. and um and i i'm considering it as a way to trick myself to look at the larger goal it's like large goal and how can i do this in pieces to all fit within the long goal with the big goal mm -hmm. so i guess creating organization i'm the organized uh, queen so yeah, if you uh, need some tips i got you man. can i just hire you if you gonna pay me, hire means you're paying, right? And bananas? No, thank you. Uh, you're a dub then. No, thank you. <laughs> pay me for my damn time. And cookies, biscuits. Yeah, pay you in like biscuits and tea or something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> One of the things I'm trying to break is unhealthy habits, and particularly the snacks that I take, mm -hmm. that I eat, uh, you know, and smoking. I'm a smoker, y'all, and I'm, I'm trying to quit that. I've been doing well so far, but. Those are the ones I'm trying to break. And what I'm trying to refresh. You know, I like the person I've become. That's good. <laughs> so I, I, I can't think of something that's like from back then that I've like, if I could just refresh it. Um, um, yeah, I guess... Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know off the top of my head. It's something I just want to change. Mm. I mean, I'm not changed, but refresh yeah. from who I uh, am. Maybe so. it's something that you got to... Refresh could also mean not necessarily revive something old, but like something that you were doing. Maybe it's something you are doing, but maybe a stepping it up a notch or something. Okay, well then... um. I don't know. I don't want to get too personal. Y'all give y'all, <laughs> you know, you know, 
I'm a hood nigga. Yeah, gangster, what gangster. That? Throwing up gang signs. <laughs> so I don't want to get too soft. But no, on a serious note, um, dang. Um, I guess things that I want to step up would be, uh, um, the f- relationships that I did, I guess, refresh in 2019, mm. maybe giving them a refresh again. And that would also include trimming off the dead weight from those relationships as well. Um, but definitely, like, you know, maybe kicking up some of them a notch would be uh, what I would refresh. Mm. Okay. Um, but yeah. That's good. That's and it more. ties into how you answered earlier about the friendships and things. So. Yeah. And what habits do I want to create, break, or refresh? Create. What habits do I like to create? You can start by bringing snacks to these on podcasts. First and foremost, those who have been guests, y'all know I feed y'all. <laughs> she ain't feed today, me today. I'm tired. I got cramps. Okay, leave me alone. Oh, All right. <laughs> I'll feed you after. She done took it there. Anyway, so what's happening? Uh, habits I want to create, break, refresh. Ooh, habits. I think I got generally pretty good habits um i want to yeah i want to create a habit of making fun a priority instead of me being super serious um making fun a priority and creating the habit of loving up on my partner more i think i can i can work on that. that what do i want to break i want to break the habit Breaking oh, the yeah. habit. Break the habit. Uh, Who is that? Lincoln Park. I don't even Breaking know. the habit. Break the habit. Break the habit. Um. No, I was gonna say break the habit of kind of falling into myself, moving kind of solo. I don't want to break the habit. I like the habit. So <laughs> I don't know what habit I would want to break. Honestly, it's like that sometimes. Um, you can love the person you are, so it's like, yeah. So, refresh I would refresh like the things I talked about earlier, just look like having a more of a joyful outlook, being able to focus on my accomplishments. I want to mm-hmm. refresh that way of thinking, so that's what I would refresh. So, number seven, what do I need to learn more about? I'll, I'll throw that out there for me. Business, mm. I, I I know I, I know a lot about what I want to do. It's it's now a matter of learning how to make it applicable, the things I need to do to get there, and learning how to be successful. Mm. I think there's one person. I I have a couple people in my, not necessarily in my corner, but people that I know I could pick their brains, and they will give me information. Mm-hmm. And um, which is good. I, me and my partner have been looking for a new place. Our, our lease is gonna be up soon. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That was gross. <laughs> but um, yeah, me and my partner is looking for a new place. Um, and I just been like picking like real estate agents, my brains. Like, how did you get in this job? How you do this? How you did that? How you did you know? And not that I want to be a real estate agent, but um, yeah, there's there's things I want to do. Well, you've and, always just learn you know what I'm yeah saying? um but more so i need to learn the business of real estate and i i, I know fairly enough but but i want to learn the investors side of the coin um so yeah that's where i'm at what I mean, about you aj i don't know if mine's is that like definite in the sense of like that refined i just want to learn new ways to make money mm. not have to show up at nobody damn job that's that's where I'm at. Oh, so <laughs> Bye. Um, <laughs> legal ways to make money. Let me. You can legally that. sell weed too nowadays. You pick yeah, the right state. They not putting us in that system. Let's not go talking about that. Anyway. <laughs> um, number eight. What boundaries do I need to implement to have healthier relationships? Ooh. Um, mine is a boundary for me. Like I need to stop doing something Hmm. and that is paying attention what yes some (laughs) of my relationships are toxic Hmm. the people i've looked up to people that i brought in my circle that i know aren't going to be good 
for my not necessarily better because they're not bad people and it's just that they're gonna hold me down mm. but mentally there it's just so draining mm. being friends or associated with particular people um but because my heart like i'm just such a caring person that you know after t- so many times of being let down or being drained by this person i still choose to invest um so it's you know stop i'm not i'm gonna stop pouring into cups that have holes in them mm. um hmm. so I'm, i have to put that boundary up for me my boundary is like they clearly don't care you shouldn't care as much either and let it go let it go <laughs> let, it, let go. it go we got a soundtrack I- for today <laughs> lincoln park let it go <laughs> lean on me um honestly i have no answer to this question because I have put up my boundaries for everything and everybody. Mm. So, and I'm good. There's not one relationship in my life that I'm like, what is the purpose of this? Mm. Why this? Or I feel this person is using me and taking advantage. Not one. Because I put my boundaries up. Mm-hmm. And I, those are, that's something I worked on in the past two years. So, I'm actually pretty good you with this one. Go, girl. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> You've been watching too much, Martin. Bruh, I can't even tell you. <laughs> So, last but not least, what's one small thing I can do to change my life? Mm. Besides the obvious things, like get married, have children? Yeah. I don't know if that's obvious, but (laughs) (laughs) Uh, it ain't obvious for everybody. My whole goal for the year is stability. Mm -hmm. Um, And if you know me... If you know me, I, I I I have no real organized structure. Mm. I don't have a pattern to how I do things. So mine would be creating that pattern, creating that structure, and letting everything else fall in place. Uh, not necessarily for my. Uh, I guess some of my relationships require structures too, but more so just for like. My day, my, my day to day shit, you know, because that tends to be the things that leaks into everything else. You know, your day to day leaks into work, your friendships, your relationships, your money. Um, so just putting a little bit more structure, so changing that and creating a pattern to be more structured. Okay. For me, one small thing I can do to change my life, and this might be one similar to something that I'm gonna refresh, is I've been. I feel like this year I did a lot more navigating the world through a neutral lens. So Mm -hmm. not necessarily negative or positive, just, just as is, if that makes sense. It's like, this is what it is. And I'm just going to navigate it. If anything goes left or right, then I'll just deal with it then. Mm -hmm. But I want to, I want to automatically start my days, just start any situation with positivity and joy Mm. just off the jump. And like, that's from anything from, Waking up and everybody I pass saying good morning as opposed to waiting for them to say good morning to me mm-hmm. and walking past people. Like, I realized that when I was doing that, just like, hey, good morning, good morning, whatever, I felt better, you know? Mm-hmm. And I also felt like people appreciated that. Um, and just being on that mindset of how can I, like, how can I bring joy to someone else? And in turn, that brings joy to me, mm-hmm. you know, if like if I just being just just looking at life through that lens, because I felt like I did that for a good while. Um, and I felt, I guess, my happiest, honestly, mm-hmm. knowing that I, I looked at things through that lens. Um, I was able to help people as much as I could help people and not from a altruistic standpoint, mm-hmm. but just from a genuine. Oh, I can help you. All right, I'm gonna help you. And um and not thinking or just going navigating things positively as opposed to going oh you know what watch this i'm gonna drop this thing or watch it like it's just like oh no it'll be fine things are gonna work out or just just be a little more positive Mm -hmm. as opposed to being really neutral i feel like i've been at very like i've been telling people or at least when i talk to my my friends i was like i've been feeling very flatlined but it's not Mm. bad like for being someone who's anxious flatline for me is actually pretty good (laughs) right um sometimes we need a little exactly i'm realizing no flatline was awesome because i got a lot of things done without that level of uh anxiety, anxiety. and extra unneeded emotion mm-hmm. but now i'm like i want 
to I feel want something. again. Yeah. yeah. And I'm choosing positive. I'm choosing um, something that's joyful. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what I think will change. You with the deep life. answers today, girl. I've been thinking, y'all. You, you, know, you finally. I told y'all I sat down, wrote, and did my goals. You finally the very thinking. Least. I was starting to question how you, you got your, your master's. <laughs> that's anyway. a question. What school you went to again? So, first of all, <laughs> lastly, oh, we about tell to us what you're looking forward to. Overall, <laughs> it could be tomorrow. It could be next week. Or till the next time we record, whatever. What am I looking forward to? Yeah. Oh wow. Um. I'm looking forward to life stabilizing. Mm. Um. I I have a great family. I have, I have great support. I have a great partner. Um. No, it's just to start setting that foundation for forever if that makes sense Mm -hmm. um so putting myself in a a place to win so that way my family could win your partner could win my friends could win um having a good a better support system they're good but you know how to make it better um okay things along those lines that's all deep and stuff me i was thinking about me busting down this uh macaroni i got there and some baked chicken that i made yesterday with some kimas so what some what Macaroni, I got that, aka Haitian mac and cheese. Oh, uh, you talking this? I'm hungry. That's what I'm thinking about. Don't you but know? Since we, we go in deep, don't you um, know we speak American in America? You are disrespectful. First of all, <laughs> ain't nothing American about America. Let's not even get started. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to my first trip of the year to the ATL. You know what I'm saying? ATL, shawty. Stay away from um, those strip clubs. Ha, I'm all up in them strip clubs. Yeah, you don't catch I love STD strip too. clubs. <laughs> but that's another story. Um, so looking forward for that trip. I, 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 I'm hoping it's the first of many this year. And I'm how many times do you want to go to Atlanta? It's the first of many times to Atlanta. No, I've never actually been to Atlanta. I've been through oh, you meant many Atlanta. trips. Yo, I'm, I'm bugging. My bad. Yeah, you you're wild. You went you're, you're many wild. trips. You're not even listening. Um. <laughs> I uh looking forward to finally closing on a home this year. That's a fact. I'm gonna throw up some prayers for you on that okay. one. Okay, listen, y'all. I'm gonna light a many, candle for that many one. Many a prayers, and I'm looking forward to just taking those leaps that I've been afraid to take. Ooh, like leaping um, over the broom. Right. And thank you for joining us. Oh, wow. <laughs> she just, that just, that. Peace, y'all. <laughs> Lady, y'all. For today's Connection Corner, I found these, I guess they can be considered affirmations or even commands, but I use them as, I guess, affirmations in the morning. I, I actually read these to myself, so I'm going to share them with you all. It states, Heal, let go, forgive, release, move on, be yourself, love yourself, open your heart, speak your truth, feel your feelings, trust the universe, learn your lesson, own your bullshit, return to innocence, follow your own way, expand your awareness, make your own decision, and enforce your boundaries. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of the Oasis Podcast. I hope you were able to find something that resonated with you on your journey. Don't forget to subscribe, share this episode, and like us on Instagram at the Oasis Podcast. If you have any questions or comments, direct message us on Instagram or email us at ajsoasis at gmail.com. Again, that's A-A-Y-J-A-Y-S-O-A-S-I-S at gmail.com.